Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia Jarvis and today I'm going to be doing my weekly grocery haul. I'm currently in a lean bulking phase and I often sort of get questions like how I eat, what I eat, that kind of thing. So I just thought I'd show you in a video and um, food is literally like my favourite thing so I quite enjoy going food shopping. At the minute I, I like shop be probably between Aldi and Sainsbury's but the Sainsbury's right near my gym. I try to make food shopping like as cheap and affordable as possible especially because I have the biggest appetite. My hair literally is so desperately needing a wash but about two weeks ago I've got started to go lighter I don't know if you can see in here I'm trying to go sort of blonder and lighter but obviously it's such a long process going from basically black so now I'm going to like that orangey phase I think I'm on like day four of unwash hair so I'm going to wash it later today but yeah the struggle is real so annoying when you're going to the gym and everything and getting sweaty because it's just like you constantly want to wash your hair but it's definitely not good for your hair especially when you're colouring it and that kind of thing and I put heat on it most days so I need to learn from my mistakes as well it's all just going to literally fall off so yeah i'll see you guys in a second like a little list which i like to do i've just put some stuff that i can think of like that we need to top of my head but to be honest i quite like to have a little mooch around so i'm just wearing the five pound jumper that was in my primark haul a little necklace uh the primark leggings handbag i love these boots from misguided she's not gonna take a coat it gets so hot when i go shopping so i think it's fine for me <laughs> So I've just got to Audi, it's only like 10 minutes from my house, which is really handy and I'm just about to go in and get some bits. The car park's pretty empty so hopefully it won't be busy in there. got back from Aldi and I've got all this and I'm actually so impressed. So I spent 40 pounds and three pence. That wasn't even intentional as well. Like I wasn't, when I was shopping around, I didn't have a clue what I was sort of like price wise. So I got some sweet potatoes. These are absolutely one of my like staple pieces with the majority of food. They're a superfood and I like like the sweet kind of flavour. They're a really rich source of fibre and like just a good array of vitamins and minerals as long as, um, as well as like lots of vitamin B and they're a high sort of antioxidant, that kind of thing. Then I got some tuna chunks in brine. These are so much cheaper than the John West ones. And they're high quality protein. They've got loads of omega-3 fatty acids, which is really good for your skin. And to be honest, I'm really struggling with my skin at the moment. The exact same with the salmon fillets. They're another really high quality protein, loads of omega-3. Um, and then I got some steak. These have got a high level of zinc, which I don't really have much zinc in my diet, I'd say, and keeps the immune system like working properly. Red meat's another really good source of protein that helps like build muscles and keep your bones nice and strong, which is literally like perfect when you're bulking, trying to gain muscle mass. I got like a cheeky little um, chicken Joffrey curry. Me and Mace oh, absolutely love the curry, <laughs> so we might have that tonight actually with some rice and more chicken. Then some organic porridge oats literally this is like i have oats every single day you usually have them like as a pre-workout with some bananas it helps your digestion so definitely a good like staple piece to have in your diet i got some lactose free um semi-skilled semi-skinned milk we go through so much milk me and mace actually and um that's just got to be honest that's just personal preference like i'm not really strict on that but i just find it's got fewer grams of like saturated fat than regular milk <clears throat> but still has like all the benefits like loads of protein then i got some natural fat free yogurt and some cottage cheese that's really like high fat which i love and have a majority of my meals i got some rice cakes they're really low in calories and just fill you up on way few calories and i've got them in like some different flavors actually sweet chili i haven't tried these before they should be very nice salt and vinegar got some uh, toothpaste 99p then oh my god i got some spinach and ricotta oh, me and mason literally can't stop eating these at the minute like we've been going through so many packs but pastas like for me i mainly have this when i'm bulking to be honest but carbs are crucial like when you're bulking and it's one way to sort of increase your carbs in a healthy way to build more muscle so yeah that's why i have pastas in my diet at the moment then some lemon juice i like to have that in the morning sometimes and it just helps maintain your ph balance 
It's got loads of vitamin C, it's quite good for your teeth and just full of vitamins and it's an antioxidant. And then I've got all the veg. To be honest, I'm not a massive veg eater. I really need to sort of do that more. But obviously, I do notice when I buy stuff from Aldi that it goes out of date quite quick. So having this in the fridge will probably make me want to eat it more, hopefully. Then bacon. Oh, I'm literally stuck with bacon and eggs at the moment. Reduced salt. Got some blueberries that go really nice with my bananas in my porridge. I have that in the morning or pre-workout. And I haven't tried this chocolate, dark chocolate, but as you probably know, I absolutely love chocolate and have it every single day. So that's why I got that. That is everything, but for £40 and 3p, I really don't think that's bad. Like that will last me a week, I'd say. And then, oh, let's head over. I got this package earlier. New inside, I haven't actually opened this yet. Shake up the coconut taste from Vita Coco. Yes. Ooh, coconut water, pressed coconut. How cute is this packaging though, seriously. Love these little boxes. Yeah, I just cooked two of the large chicken breasts and I'm just going to season them. So curry, pretty good. For the oil, before I put the chicken in, I use this Vita Coco coconut oil, which I literally swear by, it's so good. And I'm putting two packs into pasta thing to cook tonight. Combo, not gonna lie. But yeah, pasta, chicken, some crusty cheese, and then I sometimes put like some red hot sauce all over it. It's really low calorie actually. So that is my food shop done. I've definitely got more into my cooking at the moment than I used to be. Like, I used to be so lazy and sort of have so many takeaways per week, and then, but yeah. Recently, I think maybe because I've gone into sort of hibernation mode since it's been so cold, so I just prefer to sort of cook from home. Um, so yeah, that is everything in my haul, in my um, food shop. And I will also, if you're interested, I will happily do like a, you know, like a prep with me kind of video. But let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna take you with me to the gym now and I'm going to do shoulders and hamstrings, and hamstrings, and the hamstrings. So I hope you enjoy that workout. Drag too hard, don't get too close. I'ma fuck around, shoot a nigga in his face. I'ma lay back, give him broke packs. I don't care what he do, as long as I get paid. Green, blue, pink, money on my mind. Put it in a shoe box, that is tag. My nigga down the right, it ain't no surprise. Don't end up on that murder ink drag. Drag too hard, don't get too close. I'ma fuck around, shoot a nigga in his face. I'ma lay back, give him broke packs. I don't care what he do, as long as I get paid. Green, blue, pink, money on my mind. Put it in a shoe box, that is tag. My nigga down the right. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't already then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.